The year 2012 is the 100th anniversary of the birth of Raoul Wallenberg. Wallenberg was a distinguished Swede who sacrificed his life, essentially, uh, in the pursuit of, of sustaining human dignity uh, by uh, t taking on a rather extraordinary mission to Budapest in the closing months of World War II. He was sent to Budapest in June 1944 on a mission to assist uh, the Jews of Budapest. The Jewish community in Budapest was the largest surviving Jewish community in occupied Europe. So it's a remarkable story. I am Charles Fodor. I was born in Budapest, Hungary, July 14, Bastille Day, 1936, in the Jewish hospital. The Germans marched into Hungary in March 1944. And Within a few months, we had to wear the yellow star saying that we were Jews. My mother was taken away by the Nazis on the 11th of November, 1944, and she has never returned. I'm still waiting for my mother to return. I was born in Budapest, June 12, 1925. My parents were in uh, medium income people, worked very hard, and I was a very happy child. I'm still happy. One day, unexpectedly, everybody, infant, pregnant woman, dying cancer patients, were taken to the railroad station and uh, they crammed them together. They put a bucket of water in the middle of the thing, and, uh, and, uh, and they went, closed it, and they went to an unknown destination. When I heard the news, I trembled, and I became speechless. Uh, what happened is that I recognized they want to kill us. And uh, so then I went home, I don't want, and then I find that I might find my mother, she was hiding, hiding in the family of that nanny who took care of me. And uh, my father and all my relatives were killed. We were staying in the ghetto in one of my aunt's apartment. When we were liberated in the ghetto, we were all in the basement and a Russian soldier walked in there and announced, Nemetsky, Nemetsky, are there any Germans here? And we told him, my grandfather told him, that we are only Jews. He said, you're free to go. It was the moment of my liberation. Uh, Vonnenberg was uh, a very brilliant man. Who was, who was, came from a very wealthy Swedish influential family. And then he was uh, told that he would, uh, he should go there and try to help the Jews when the Germans came to Budapest in March uh, 19, 1944. It certainly made a difference that I am able to be here today. When I think of Wallenberg, I think of the people who saved Jewish lives. The righteous. The American Swedish Institute is going to join together with the Jewish Community Relations Council to present uh, an event uh, in October that will draw together the community. We'll uh, hear uh, the, the history and the background of Wallenberg's life and his contributions. Uh, and at the same time uplift that story for members of the community and do that in a way which brings together the Swedish-American community honoring uh, a Swede uh, who, uh, in, in, in the personage of Raoul Wallenberg and together with uh, JCRC. The moment is commemorating the 100th birthday of Raoul Wallenberg. That in itself tells you something that someone who played such a pivotal role in saving so many people in those dark days in Budapest, and in a sense, only 100 years old. He was a very young man when he committed himself 
to this very dangerous mission of going to Hungary in order to save Jews when there weren't a lot of people in the world who had committed themselves to doing that. It's believed that the courage and audacity of Raoul Wallenberg may have resulted in as many as 100,000 Jews surviving the Nazis in Budapest. <laughs>